open up the browser and you'll find the documentation for Cyflex in the install directory of XSI. So for me that's on my C drive and if I navigate to my Softimage folder I'll uh, open it up, navigate to the most recent version of Soft you have installed on your machine and uh, if you look in the Docs folder you'll find the Cyflex documentation and open up the base HTML file, Cyflex HTML. If you access the reference hyperlink drive down into the units folder uh, I have to allow some blocked content here this is a really good explanation of why you need to set your units uh, the whole Cyflex calculation is based on uh, physical it's based on equations or on uh, on code and a lot of the equations rely on certain units to be uh, expressed by the user and the three base units that cloth works with are the length, time, and mass attributes or, or units uh, to derive the formulas. You can see that sp the speed, the gravity, the density, the st how stiff our springs are, uh, how stiff the cloth is, are determined by formulas that use these units. So length divided by time, length divided by time squared, mass divided by length squared, etc. So if we change one of these units, many of the different values that you can as, uh, assign in the cloth uh, are in need of updating. So let's determine how these values work. If you look down at the bottom, so they give you some examples right here, but if you look down at the bottom, there's a little JavaScript applet that allows us to fill in a form uh, if we know our length unit, time unit, and mass unit, and it'll compute these values for us. We can write those down and uh, just copy paste straight into Cyflex. So everything here is measured in terms of meters, seconds, and grams. And so what is our base unit for meters? Are we working in feet, for example? And in this case, I am. The character sits about 6'4". I'm from Canada. We tend to use uh, feet and pounds quite a bit. But in this case, uh, I I'm going to work with... Uh, yeah, actually, I think I am going to work with feet and pounds. Why not? Let's stay Canadian here. So my length unit is in feet. How many feet are in a meter? Well, if I've done my calculations correctly, we have 0.3048 feet make up a meter, roughly uh, three feet to a meter, but that's the precise value. Uh, the time unit that I'm going to work with is in seconds, and I'm working at 24 frames per second. So one frame has to be the equivalent of one divided by 24. Or, sec or 24 frames, one second divided by 24, and you can actually see we get a little example down here uh, of how that value works. So we need to put 0.04166, and in, in fact, I'll just copy paste that right into my time unit. Oops. And finally, for mass, if mass is in grams, how many grams make up a pound? And 453, and some change of those grams make up one pound. So I've now got my unit scale for all of the Cyf all the Cyflex settings that really count in terms of deriving the uh, cloth equation. I can compute that and it gives me some values uh, that I can apply to my Cyflex formulas. So that's very cool. A little cool applet that not a lot of people know about and it really helps make your decisions a lot easier when setting some of these uh, stiffness and, and damping values along with uh, even the density. You know, if I wanted to work in, say, whoa, you can see where I went wrong there. My length is uh, 3,048 meters. It's actually 0 0.3048 meters. And let's, let's recompute that. There we go. That looked a little bit strange for a second. So again, you really need to make sure that your units are correct. Otherwise, I have no idea what this would have done. So always check. So 3 feet to a meter, 0 0.3048. Uh, do a little Google search. You can find these in two seconds. Alright, so we'll copy these down and we'll now go back into XSI and work with Cyflex. So take note of these values and uh, yeah.